So at work we got a bit of an interesting opportunity. Uh, this is actually the drive shaft out of an air conditioning, uh, like a drive coupler. So this collet here goes into the PTO of the transmission and uh, it's just a big mounting housing that the air conditioning shaft or air conditioning compressor then rides on. So this collet um, obviously just slides on and off. The opportunity is that there is nothing to retain the collet onto the shaft. And where it mounts up on this side is the receiver, you know, that's splined, which is the PTO that goes all the way into the transmission housing. So what we're going to do is make a little top hat that will sit in here and then a bolt will thread in there and still set flush. So by a top hat, we'll machine a stepped steel bit that will ride on the inside of there. This would act like a washer and then this would take up the extra space in there. That way the bolt tightens against this and onto the shaft instead of trying to tighten the uh, collet on there because it's tapered here that would lock up. So what we'll do is we'll kind of take this out. This will be recessed in also. So the bolt head will set here and the threads will ride straight through. Well, let's see if we can make it how we come up with this. So seemingly the hardest part of this job is just going to be to drill and tap this for a 10 millimeter fine thread. And we're going to use an 8.8 .8 millimeter drill overall before we tap it. That'll give us the clearance we need for the fine thread bolt. And fortunately, because it's already a machined part, we already have a center hole taken care of for us. So as with any normal drilling operation, I'm going to start with a stub drill, as short and stiff as possible. And we've got a pretty decent pilot hole going on, so at least, at least we get that going for us. drill bits like to flex when they're drilling so by using the stub drill we're going to get rid of a lot of that I'm going to take a cue from Joe Pye so when you get to where you need to get the clean out point give it a half a turn off back the tailstock off do your cleaning and you can put it right back in. That way you can just pick back up where you were on the depth. So your measured depth that you know you're going to go in doesn't change once you have the initial tailstock setting set. Since we're paying homage to Joe Pye here, let me specify that whenever we set the initial depth, the carriage is what stops the tailstock, and then you can always come right back on to where you had initially zeroed it, lock it back down, and then turn it in. So now that we got that complete, I'll just show you real quick where the carriage had stopped was just 
right to the end of the stub drill flutes and that's it and then you never go any farther you never go farther than the flute of the drill bit see if we're clean out just take it out and we don't have to restart the wind every time so once we know the depth of the drill which is uh, three quarter now with the jobber, jobber length bit um, we're just going to set the carriage to where this is zero we know we only want to go in three quarter so we'll recenter it and then move the carriage over to be our bump stop so the tool is staying nice and cool throughout this operation lock it down notice how I'm not drilling but I'm almost into the uh, the depth where I want to be but notice that we have material shooting out both sides of the flute which that's how you need to be Just going slow to come up on the final here. That's it. Now this may seem odd. Um, I don't have the spring-loaded tool to do this, so I have the lathe unplugged, and I'm going to bring the tap up in the chuck. I don't know if I'll be able to do this while holding the camera, but I feed this as I turn this by hand with everything unplugged just to get it started. That way it's completely dead straight. Then after that, I can turn it with a tap handle. Okay, now just Loosen the chuck back the tailstock off. And now that is dead straight and it's about three threads in there so it's definitely going in pretty good. Now I can go ahead and turn it like normal.